We've developed a minimally invasive brain machine interface that has the ability to record uh, neural signals. These signals or uh, information that's generated by the brain can be picked up by our device uh, and this language can be decoded and used to control different uh, equipment like wheelchairs, exoskeletons and, and computers. The device has undergone a number of iterations. There are a number of challenges that we have to overcome including making a device that is flexible enough to go through the blood vessels as well as stiff enough so it can be pushed through the tube into the position we require. Uh, the nitinol stent which is self-expanding has electrodes and wires wrapped around it. A lot of work went into uh, making the device suitable so that it could be compressed and expanded without uh, affecting the structural integrity of the device. We're hoping that we'll be able to implant our device in a small cohort of patients in 2017. These people have uh, paralysis and we're hoping that our device will be able to extract their information that they're thinking about moving and convert this into signals that can be used to command an exoskeleton.